Hey everyone, I'm going to go over a very quick overview of this DOG. Um, this is Picturing North America, Week 9. For this DOG, I have mentioned that you do not have to use complete sentences to answer these questions. Uh, there is a separate document for writing your answers. I think that is working best for most people to type their answers on the Google Doc or you can write your answers on notebook paper and save that for when you return to social studies. On this first page, you're going to notice, as always, there's an introduction to the map. Um, this could be potentially very useful information. I'm not going to read it out loud to you right now, depending on which questions you have. Uh, you might have any questions on, you can skim through to see what is helpful. Do not forget this vocabulary list at the bottom. It's a little bit longer this week. There are a few words that we haven't used as much. Uh, some of them are mentioned on the map page as well. So make sure you take a look through these. On our map of North America. Uh, just the map of North America right now. We know that by the title up here at the top. We have a compass rose, an inset map, the inset map shades in North America on the world. Three biggest countries in North America, we have the United States in the middle, Canada to the north, Mexico to the south. The oceans, there are three oceans labeled. There are seas that border North America that are labeled. And if I move this down a little bit, um, you can see island countries and the other countries that make up North America. This part is Central America. Now I know we talked in class a little bit about Central America being some of these islands and this part. Uh, this is going to specifically say Central America, we're talking about these countries and it defines them in one of the bullet points at the bottom. Then there are uh, these Caribbean islands. They're in the Caribbean Sea. They are labeled here, and then these really tiny ones over in this section. Um, this is labeled in the note down here, what those island countries are called. And I don't think you have any questions specific to the um, lesser entails, but if you do, there's information down here in the notes. As you go through your questions, uh, make sure you answer all parts of the question if there are multiple parts to a question. And a few of the questions are going to say, uh, you know, without looking at the map, what do you remember? So study the map a little bit, then put in the ones you remember. If you have to go back for spelling or if you want to go back to get the ones that you forgot, you are more than welcome to do that. If you have any questions while you're working on this DOG, um, please feel free to email me at any time.